So you're wanting to do something about that waistline, but the thought of doing you know, endless sprints, running up a hill over and over, or doing you know, an hour of cardio really doesn't seem like it's what you wanna be doing. Um, and also, you know, doing a strict diet of broccoli, chicken, and cutting your calories, that also doesn't seem like it's your cup of tea. So, will lifting weights though, you've heard about lifting weights, and you're wondering whether that is actually a solution to your problem of wanting to lose fat. Today we're gonna to be addressing whether you know, doing weights alone can actually help you lose that stubborn belly fat once and for all. So, what is the reason behind us actually storing fat in the first place? Well, it goes back hundreds and thousands of years. We store fat in our bodies because it's a survival mechanism. And for you know, almost all of history, we've actually needed this process. It's actually kept us safe. It's helped us you know, in times of need, when we need extra calories, we've actually got them there on our bodies. But now in this day and age, it's actually very, you know, it's, it's a challenge having all this fat on our bodies. And the reality is that um, food is not scarce like it used to be. And it's actually, you know, in abundance. And this can mean we put on this fat really, really readily. So in order to actually get rid of this fat, we need to be in a calorie deficit. So this is all about, and, and the way that we achieve this is actually increasing the amount of calories that we burn and decreasing the amount of calories that we consume on a daily basis. So this is where lifting weights can really, really help because it can help to skyrocket the amount of calories that we burn on this daily basis because we are gonna increase our muscle, which is gonna increase our metabolism, and this increased metabolism is gonna to lead to fat loss. So point number one is that when we lift weights, it's actually very, very taxing on our body. And it can take you know 48 um, to 72 hours post our strength session um, to actually recover from that training. You might find um, there's this thing called DOMS where you're really sore after training. And the reason for that is our body actually has to go away and, and actually repair our muscles so that we can bounce back and become stronger and build a little bit of muscle to you know, become more resilient and to actually get ready for the next session. So this repair process is actually very energy costly and it costs our body a lot of energy and in turn that's gonna result in more fat loss. Point number two is over time, as you start to lay a little bit of this muscle on your body, we call this lean muscle, it's actually going to increase your metabolism. Muscle is a very energy inefficient tissue, okay? So just sitting there, if you're just sitting there and you've got a lot of muscle, you're gonna burn through calories really, really readily, okay? And again, this is gonna increase your overall metabolism and you're gonna burn calories just sitting on the couch, whether you're eating, whether you're sleeping, much more than you would if you have a low amount of muscle. So point number three is when you contrast cardio training to strength training or lifting weights, there's a big, big difference. Cardio is more of a short-term approach. Yes, it will burn lots of lots of calories and help with fat loss just in session. But the reality is when you're actually doing strength training, it's more of your long-term approach. Like I said before, uh, when you do strength training, you're gonna be burning calories all throughout the day. Whereas cardio, it's quite short-term. Once you finish the session, the benefits kind of stop there. So to sum it all up, lifting weights alone can absolutely help you to lose fat off your body. You don't need to be doing lots and lots of cardio, but like we said, it's probably important to look at not only adding energy expenditure, which is all about you know increasing your metabolism and lifting weights, but also looking into your diet, but that's our battle for another day. So at Get Gym Fit, we are all about helping fitness beginners join a gym they love and keep coming back to and feel confident in. So lifting weights is an awesome part of your fitness journey and it's just something that we want to help you get better at. So please like and subscribe to this channel so that we can keep on spreading the word.